and Diaspora News Channel. Russian President Putin says Africa is a cemetery for Africans. Before you form an opinion, first let me read you the whole quote of what he said. Putin says, quote, Africa will never be independent. Africans believe in Europeans, Americans, Chinese more than themselves. They don't trust themselves at all. A white man will commit crime in Africa, but no action will be taken because Africa authorities view us as semi-gods. Far from the truth, a black man can be abducted in Europe, get harassed or even killed, but no African authority will question. Africans present themselves as weak people with no hope, especially when dealing with Europeans and Americans. They are their own enemies. They hate each other, and that gives their colonial masters power to continue exploiting African resources. When an African becomes rich, his bank accounts are in Switzerland. He travels to France for medical treatment. He invests in Germany. He buys from Dubai. He consumes Chinese. He prays in Rome and Mecca. His children stay in Europe. He travels to Canada, USA, Europe for tourism. If he dies, he will be buried in his native country of Africa. Africa is just a cemetery for Africans. How could a cemetery be developed? Putin asks. That's how it felt, really, hearing this from him. But let's be honest, let's have a real conversation. Is he really wrong? Is he telling the truth or is he lying? Let's be honest with ourselves, Africans. It's time to really reflect. Let's see. Which statement he made is wrong? It sucks hearing this from another person. It sucks that somebody had a view about how we act, how we move, and said that about us publicly, and that's a leader of a nation, Russia. It's not really nice to hear that from another person. That's definitely his observation. He's entitled to his opinion. But let's talk about his opinion. Is it really wrong? His opinion is formed from what he saw. Let's be true to ourselves. Let's be honest with each other. It's sad. It's really sad. But this is what's happening right now. If we want to see the change that we want, we need to be honest with ourselves. We need to see the truth. We need to reflect and we need to change what needs to be changed. From what Putin said, most of it is right. Let's be clear. Our leaders see the white man as semi-gods. He said it. He even said, it's not true. But you guys think we're gods. How awful is that to hear? They know their power. Get that. We believe that they are semi-gods. Don't get me wrong. Part of it is psychological. Part of it is because of colonialism. At the end of the day, it had an impact on the minds of the people, our ancestors. It left something, some scar. So without knowing it, psychologically, we're kind of colonized as well. We need to now break that chain and come out of it. That's the main thing now. We're discussing this because I think it's important, because I believe it's important. If we really look at ourselves and see where we're going wrong, we can fix it. I believe our politicians, our leaders, believe that these guys are semi-gods. 